There's two! <laughs> so, it is uh, almost one o'clock in the afternoon, and you can tell because it's light outside. Um, I have been getting things done. I have been doing work and stuff like that because that's what we need to do to, you know, that, that's just what we do. I just wanted to say hi because I haven't filmed anything and I felt kind of like, like, you know, I wasn't connecting with you guys because, you know, I've said hi recently, so, hi. I have earned enough for a free drink at, a, at, at Starbucks, so I'm gonna go get one. Did you guys see that? That coffee opened the door. It is powerful coffee. Oh, that's happiness, happiness in a cup. So we're at PetSmart now. We need to get Buffy some food because apparently, I don't know, she needs to eat too. But look at this. Isn't this the uh, uh, supernatural symbol? Just saying. Okay, are you guys ready for dog food cam? Oh yeah, doesn't get much better than this. Actually, it probably really could. There you guys go. Dog food cam, you're welcome. Um, not only are we off to get Phoenix, we are also hopefully, possibly, maybe, depends on what he wants to do, but planning today to dig for dinosaur bones. Yep, you heard me right. Dig for dinosaurs. Help. <laughs> he wanted to help. <laughs> Can you get it? <laughs> Can you get it? I can only carry it for one second. Because if I hold it for too long, it's going to rip my finger open. It's going to rip your finger open? Yeah. Well, then don't hold it for too long. You got it? No! <laughs> Do you need help? Watch this, are you ready? No, no. Watch, watch. Daddy? How strong is Daddy? <laughs> Dig it up. 3D skeleton. It's a T-Rex. Dinosaur! Yeah! <laughs> How's that again? Is it a zombie dinosaur? <laughs> Alright. Oh, my boy. I love you. Get your stuff... Oh. Get your stuff cleaned up so that we can do this. I'll start opening it. <laughs> Hi, Phoenix. Simon says, tell my dad to build something. Tell my dad to build something. Ah, oh, Snella. Simon says to love my dad forever and ever and ever. To love my dad forever and ever and ever. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We found, we found a bone! Are you excited? Yes! Look! Dad, what did I do? We found a bone. All it's right. right here. Right there. Look at it! It's amazing! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. What? <gasps> There's another one! There's two! <laughs> and that's exactly what you use now. You use the scraper part of it. Good job. Okay, try to pick it up. Try to do it. Get it. Get it. <gasps> it just moved a little bit. Well, then get it. Whoa. Look at it. That's <laughs> Look at it. Look at that. Go that's, watch it. Ah! That's your first dinosaur bone. Yes. <laughs> that's cool. There's another one. Yep, there, there's another one in there. There's another one over here, too. This right here is the dinosaur dust extraction tool. 
<laughs> Just for now. <laughs> but this is our first bone. Yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? I'm going to go and wash it off. Okay. Phoenix didn't remember riding on the monster truck. But now I do. Now you do? Mm-hmm. I mean, you had the longer hair. I had the longer hair. That yes, time. I did. I want to go on Grave Digger monster truck. I want to ride on that truck. Oh, well, that would be cool if we could do that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on, they want to see too. They want to let me see it. Did you have fun? Do you remember it now? Mm -hmm. Can you wave at everybody? Say bye, happy haunting. Bye, happy haunting. Love you all. It was a dark and stormy night, but not yet. <laughs> I'm headed to Lowe's before it becomes a dark and stormy night so that we can get some uh, materials for the uh, closet doors. Gotta get them done. Gotta get the house done. So much to do, so little time to do it in. But you gotta start somewhere. All right, the bed of the truck is dry. It is written. The bass, loud planes. Anyway, the bed of the truck is dry. We're going to get some plywood. Hashtag finishing projects. Okay, we're all loaded up, and I'll tell you guys something that I'm not impressed with. And I understand the reasoning for it. I had to pay for the plywood before they cut it. So I had to pay for the plywood, have them cut it, and then go and get everything else that I needed, which I understand the reasoning for doing it. Apparently a bunch of people like changed their mind and end up not paying for it, but still major inconvenience. But I'll tell you something I'm really impressed with. This cart, look how smooth it is. Look at that. This is like the smoothest cart I've ever had. I want to keep it. Can I keep it? I know you guys can't see me, but this is incredible. Hold on. I got to get moving. I got home. It just started to rain. I mean, just. It's just sprinkling right now. I don't have the wood for the closet doors in yet. Listen. Shit, it just started. I got to hurry. Oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> I got him in. Oh wow, talk about timing, holy cow. Well, that was absolutely crazy. Seriously, I was un Really? Really? I just got through, seriously, I just got through vacuuming. What is this? I know, that's your hair. Why? I was almost done unloading. I had gotten all of this stuff out there and I had gotten all this stuff. I needed uh, liquid nails, hardware. Um, you guys remember like s several years ago, my um, nail guns, my Brad nailer died in the haunt along with both staple guns at the same time. But remember, this is like a while ago. It's like maybe four years ago, a while ago. Um, a while, four years ago. There you go. I think it was the staples. Didn't have enough glue holding them together. So they would like break apart in the gun, but I thought it was just the guns getting jammed and just like messing up and mysteriously all three went bad at the same time. Anyway, that's not what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to tell you right now is it started raining as I was unloading, as I was almost done. As soon as I got down to the plywood, it started, it started raining, which is crazy. So here we go. This is the plywood for these doors here. So hopefully by the end of the week, these doors will be done and this room will be done, kind of. Except for the curtain. But the curtain's gonna get changed out anyway. Something more modern. Apparently I haven't been doing things modern. Kind of retro. So I'm gonna leave you guys alone with your thoughts right now because I have some uh, birthday things to tend to. I can't tell you guys because it would ruin the surprise so you'll just have to wait until Friday. <laughs> well, Saturday for you guys, right? You're such a good girl. You are a good girl. Give me five. Good girl.
All right, guys, as we bring to close another day, it is time for COC. Because that's what we do. So we've got, what do we got going on? We have Buffy here. We have the closet doors here. Um, we're going to work on them uh, as time permits over the next uh, couple days. And then hopefully Saturday we can get the majority of the doors done. I still need to get like the little door handles, like the finger, we put your fingers in there to open the doors. I still need that. We still need the barathane form too. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So let's do this. First comment of the night, Ricky R. First, you know you're a builder when you have a bag of 800 zip ties that is almost empty. <laughs> oh well, happy haunting. This is true, this is very true. I got to the end of the bag, I'm like, oh my gosh, we went through all these zip ties? Yeah, that was a lot of zip ties. Carrie Ann Olsen, cheese with eggs? Ew, what? Everybody puts cheese, it's like an omelet, but not. You should be able to pick up your gift Thursday. I think it would be best if Angie was there to open it too. Um, okay, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm not sure I can get to the P.O. box during the hours. I've got, I got, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. CNS Services, Troy, awesome vlog today. Happy birthday to Angie. And my question would be, how did you and Angie meet? I've never heard that. I must have missed out on the vlogs. Um, okay, I will add this to our list of questions. If you guys have a question for Angie and I, post it down below. I'm adding this to the list of the questions for the question and answer vlog. Mike Malone, headed to Duval on Friday to see the grandson. We'll wave as we go through Lakewood. Oh, yeah, too bad you guys don't have some time. Just stop by and grab a coffee or something. Francis Royer. I may not write every day, but I do thumbs up and watch every day. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. I enjoy watching your vlogs, but mostly watching Buffy. She is one smart dog. Her reaction to you when you get her going makes me smile, even laugh at times. Miss not having a fur baby around. You made a comment about things happening fast. Does that mean Angie's on her way to the States to live for good? Unfortunately, no, not right now. You both deserve your happiness together. I wanted to send you a Christmas card sent out to you, but unfortunately, I got sick through the holidays, plus dealing with no heat. Two weeks later in January, a new furnace was installed. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't even imagine it being that cold. Needless to say, my time at the gym was put back on the, or put on the back burner. Next week, starting back. Awesome. <laughs> Patrick Redding, Buffy is awesome. Halloween for Troy. He is still further than me with your Christmas being down. I'm still working on putting mine or my outside away. The weather has not cooperated with me and snow on the ground. Most of my stuff, the stakes are frozen into the ground. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Drift 27. Poor Buffy. Troy's just a mean old walk tease, isn't he? I see what you did there. That's funny. Angie, you said the spider webs are pretty cool. Do you really mean that? Or are you like, oh my gosh, they better be knocked down by the time I get there. <laughs> Whirly Bird Productions, Jim told me at Midwest that the reboot never happened. What reboot? Are we talking about the Three Amigos? Or are we talking about Ghostbusters? Or is this something that I'm totally like oblivious to? I tried telling him it did, but he didn't believe me. We were also pretty, as the you say, lit. Well, at least I know I was. I blame Troy Crivellone, even though he was hiding in the closet the whole time. But he finally came out, right? Uh, Mon E, happy birthday, Angie. Um, I hope you had a great day and celebrate again with Troy on the weekend, which we will do. All right, guys, happy haunting. Thank you so much for watching. Going to get out of here. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, from St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> Subscribe to Halloween Hellmouth on YouTube and like this page and share it. Peace.